Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna be looking at a new product from Rhizoma. This is the Rhizoma Cut Edge Mirror. Uh, just dropped today, so we're gonna be doing an unboxing as well as an install on the M and the V4 right here. So let's get into it. The Rhizoma Cut Edge Mirror is gonna be sold both left and right, so it's gonna be available individually, uh, but let's hop in and see what we get in the box. Okay, so let's see what we got in here. Okay, it looks like we've got our mirror, a fit kit, and some documentation. Now, remember that this mirror is going to be that billet aluminum that Rhizoma is known for. Uh, we've got really nice machine work here. Uh, yeah, it just looks like a really simple, straightforward mirror that is really well built. They did send over a really nice graphic to uh, show the different articulation. So I'm gonna post that up right now, take a look at that. Now let's take a look at this fit kit. Okay, perfect, that's a little more organized. Uh, this is everything that comes in the box uh, supplied to you from Rhizoma. Uh, you've got a couple of different spacers that you can use to fine tune the fit on your motorcycle. And then there's gonna be three different ways to install these mirrors onto your motorcycle. If you wanted to install the mirror on the outside of your bar, you can do that by clamping directly here, or if you needed to take up a little space, you can slide that spacer in, take up a little space, and then clamp it down uh, through this bolt right here. Second, you can use uh, these guys um, as a threaded, uh, if you have threaded bar ends, uh, so you've got two M8s, one long, one short, and then an M6 bolt. So if you have a threaded bar end, you can mount that way. And then lastly, if you have a smooth bore on the inside of your bar, uh, you can use these expansion uh, adapters that will end up expanding inside your bar uh, to create the perfect fit. Uh, so basically just one of these bolts threads into uh, that guy right there, pulls it this direction, that knurling ends up expanding inside the bar, and uh, yeah, the perfect fit. That's everything that comes in the box. Now let's see what it takes to get this guy onto the M1000 as well as the Street Fighter. And uh, remember, they come in left and right, so if you just wanna run one of those bar end mirrors, uh, you can do that, sold individually, the Rhizoma Cut Edge Mirror. Let's get them installed. All right, for the M1000, we just need to finish removing the OEM bar end, which is that threaded bar end, just like that. And now the installation of the cut edge mirror is really straightforward. All you have to do is just slide that bar end through there, bolt goes in, thread that into your bar end, get it tightened down, and then position your angle however you'd like, and then tighten down with this guy right here. And you're good to go. All right, now let's take a look at the Street Fighter. So this is gonna be the throttle side. Uh, so this is gonna be where you're gonna have to make sure that you've got plenty of clearance uh, so you don't bind your throttle. Now, I've already gone through and assembled the expansion adapter here. Uh, so basically, as this bolt gets threaded through, it's going to pull this expander down, and then the knurling on the expansion adapter is going to expand inside the bar and uh, make for a nice, firm fit. And then we have our spacer here. So the spacer is gonna go in, and it rests up against the end of the bar here, and then you're gonna have plenty of clearance to have your throttle actuate normally. That just goes on just like that. Get our mirror on, slide that in. Now 
All right, and then just get the bar end pushed into the bar nice and flush. Hold it with the one hand, tighten it up. There we go. All right, so now we've got that nice and firm on the inside of the bar. Uh, just double check that you've got easy actuation and it returns uh, as far as your throttle goes. Perfect. Now for the mirror placement, let's do out towards the end of the bar. And that is gonna be this bolt right here. We'll lock everything into place. Just like that. Perfect. Okay, for the final way to install these mirrors, uh, I figured I'd roll over the race bike just to show it fits on pretty much every motorcycle uh, in some way or fashion. Uh, but basically this is a uh, 7 8 clip-on. We've got this reducer here. So that's gonna go on right there. And then this slides onto that reducer. Just push that right into place. Position it how you want, just like that. And then tighten that bolt just like before. And now you have a mirror on a race bike. And that is the Rhizoma Cut Edge Mirror. Um, classic Rhizoma construction with the billet aluminum as well as the high definition glass. Uh, and then it has the same uh, design language as the stealth mirror that has been wildly popular over the last several months. Uh, but now we have it available in a uh, bar end mirror. So it is available now. Uh, I'll drop a link in the description below so you can go and order it. Remember, it is going to come in a left and a right hand side. So you're going to be ordering it individually. Um, but yeah, the Rhizoma cut edge mirror. Uh, check it out on the website and uh, we'll check you on the next one. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe so we can do more videos just like this one.